two hour, two hour, four minutes game is the one I missed. <laughs> the seven inning starter, C- Cano Batista. Um, yeah, no, I watched it. I was watching. I was holding on tight, and when Santander made the catch, I clapped in my hotel room. Um, but yeah, it's re- really weird watching the game from from, uh, from not not being in the dugout, and not being here. That was it was a strange feeling, but uh, definitely was watching and and. Uh, our guys did a great job. That was the best Tyler Wells for me has pitched um, in his career here. Just the command that he showed, the slider was so good. The cutter was like he was, uh, the slider was starting on the corner and and off for strikeouts. The cutter was really good through really good changeups at times. Uh, but I was really impressed with Tyler last night. Do you think you guys at some point will try and separate Cano and Bautista and have one of them always, you know, try to have one of them always available. I think it's, yeah, just maybe different night to night. You know, Batista's thrown back to back. Um, you know, Cano just threw last night, so he's definitely available today. I just think things, baseball's weird, and that sometimes it'll be four or five days. I probably won't use either of them. Um, hopefully not, because that means we're, you know, maybe we're winning by a bunch. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, just honestly, just take it. Every day is different, and and uh, hopefully both those guys are available on most days. It's just a rest day for Mateo and Rushman. Yeah, yep. Is this the is this the day that you're gonna not play Rushman no matter what, or uh, is he, or is there ever gonna be a day where you just say you're not playing no matter what? I would love the one time that. We have like a nine run lead on a day he doesn't play. It would be a great Mother's Day. Um, I don't know, Rich. We'll see. <laughs> Usually, you know, if, ever since he's got and he's got here, I feel like there's a lot of times when days we sit that he there's a big spot to hit, and I got Valley Rutschman standing over there with a bat, and it's hard not to put him in. So I would love to stay away from him as much as I can. We got. He's caught a lot. We got three right-handers in a row against the Angels coming up with Otani, etc. The next three nights, so he's going to catch a lot this, you know, five or six games this week. So you try to, you try to have him give a, have a breather if we can. Is he eager to go in when he's not starting and there's a potential pitch hit opportunity? Is he kind of standing there with the bat, giving you a, a little bit of a glare in the dugout? He he likes to play. Um, He's ready. There's no doubt, and he's uh, he understands uh, the situation. He understands um, he's obviously a great option to hit in a, in a huge spot. And uh, I've never looked at him and him not give me a look like like I'm not really feeling this one today. Um, he's he always seems ready. How nice has it been to see Gunner just hitting a lot of balls hard lately, and some of these minor adjustments he's been making. Kind of yeah, yeah. You know he's. Last couple of weeks, the, the extra work he's put in is, you know, he's, uh, it's nice to see it pay off. Um, lot, for me, a lot better swings the last, the last week or so. Unlucky outs a little bit in the outfield, too, where he's lined out right at, right at the outfielders a few times. But nice to see him get one over the fence last night. And um, it's, he's, got a, he's got so much talent. He's going to be such a good player. I just, he wants to, he wants it so bad and he wants it now. And you have to kind of just show some patience, try to let, make him relax. Um, understand that, you know, we play 162 of these and not, you're not going to just come out and one at bat. And, uh, cause he wants to deliver so badly. And I feel like, we, you know, up until last night, there's mo- a lot of games recently where he's come up with a lot of with runners in scoring position in big spots and he wants to come through so, so badly. And, um, I know that's frustrating for him, but he's such a young son, young, talented player that, um, you know, it's going to happen here sometime soon. How much do you like wearing the pink? Yeah, I love it. I love different alternate, you know, uniform days and do something different. And I think this is a good one. Yeah, Me too. This is one of the better ones. And this is like a, what'd you call this color? It's like a light tan. What's, what color is that? Light tan. Like taupe. It's like a taupe. Yeah. It's like a taupe in pink. Yeah, I think it looks nice. What time did you, what time did you get here? I, well, I drove that night and I got into Syracuse 
about 4.30, and then I had a 6 a.m. flight out of here, out of there this morning. So You'll sleep well tonight. tonight, I feel good right now. How much coffee? That's a double shot. That's an extra, extra shot of espresso in there. Uh, yeah, tonight, tonight I'll be tired.